to have. My man Scott <laughs> is that sharp, okay? And he gave some really good answers, too, all right? Like, I don't know if this guy has any kind of media training, but he fooled me. No, a lot of them certainly felt like they had to, but they didn't. Right. They were just ready for the moment as we have a turnover here at the start of the game. Remember, this is Elimination City. Yeah. Team that loses this one is going home. You know the vibes. They're going to be in the white uniforms while, once again, rise above. Wearing the blues that weren't too kind to them a game ago. And you have the Park Boys. JLB, Eduardo, they're waiting in the final. It's double elimination, so a loss here. And there's another pluck. Let's go crazy. It's just been a great couple days here, Phil. Absolutely. I know there's a lot of tired faces among the players and the staff, but it's certainly all coming to fruition here as we're just a few games away from finding out who's going to be the champs. Yeah, all the exhaustion, though, it's so nice because you know it all leads up to something. It all adds up in it. You know, again, creating an opportunity for these guys, being able to put on a heck of a show uh, for individuals both in-house and on the stream to enjoy. You know, nobody's ever going to tell you they regret anything when it comes to a good production like this. How about you? Pacholo? Fiesta coming out with some defensive plays to get it going. We got to know, chat, this is an elimination game. Yep. We're hanging out there. You got one for You Know the Vibes, the team in white, or you got two for Rise Above, that's Mario and Gunnar and the rest of the crew to move on to the final. And there's an errant turnover. Quick seven points here for You Know the Vibe. And if you need some backstory, before we came on air uh, earlier today, it was a 71-43 loss uh, by You Know the Vibe to rise above as Mario had a huge game. As Jordy now with a quick four. Uh, I think it's safe to say they're determined not to let history repeat itself. Mario getting into the paint. Let's see if he sort of nice. wills his way in. I thought he was a little passive in that last game. Oh, absolutely. And, and you know, obviously, I get it. You know, Gunnar starts off hot. You want to keep him going. Obviously, uh, Sizzle uh, doing his thing, too. But you got to understand, like, you're a coveted player for a reason. And I think anyone looking to take Mario, they're going to want him to be able to enter that takeover mode and be the guy to kind of lead that team. It's not about taking shots away from other people's, but we know how gifted you are on the offensive end. Don't shy away from that talent. Just a reminder, they're playing on the Season 2 League build back in NBA 2K19. We won't see Season 3 League build until the new year. Oh, yeah. Nine to four in the opening minutes. Dova going baseline bit too strong and here comes Rice above back the other way trying to cut into this lead. Mario now. This has got to be his game Phil. Yeah no doubt about it and I like the fact he's being aggressive. He's willing to put up the shots now. Let's hope that trend continues because he's going to sink him. Like, he's going to get his. That's not even a question. I also think you got to get Tizzle involved. The guy from London. Tizzle's had some huge games. Yeah. Remember, it recall uh, in that blow win that, that, you know, we alluded to earlier to 71-43, he had the game high 23 in this game. So 11-4, a slow start here by Rise Above, facing elimination. As you know the vibe, go crazy. Dova, Jordy, they certainly played well, and there's another takeaway. You got to wonder, I mean, Scott, are they coming out with the, the right sense of urgency? I mean, you know, you can't hang your hat on what happened in that last game. People, they're going to sit down, they're going to talk about that. Like, they're going to adapt, they're going to change the strategy. It's not going to be uh, the same exact team you're facing. Well, Gunnar played absolutely brilliant in the last match, even though they came up short, but now he comes out with three straight turnovers. Yeah, that's not it. That's the kind of the Gunnar we're harping on that, you know, we need to see be better. And it all comes down to it. Can't get it to go there at the buzzer. Now go crazy. Nice find. Oh, the patience. That was beautiful. And it won't go. Like the Hanging on the rim for nothing. Yeah, like the attempt just didn't pay off. So 11 to 4. Bit of a struggle after the hot start. 
You know the vibes has already put up 11 shots while rise above the team in blue has only taken four shots. Now five, long on the three. Ooh, if he would have followed his own shot, he would have had it. Yep. Let that one get away from him. And when you're struggling like that, that's uh, something you can ill afford to let happen. That's um, almost an inexcusable mistake. But that's that basketball acumen that a lot of the scouts, not only here in person, but certainly seeing a lot of teams from around the league hanging out, watching this out on the interwebs. I want to say a special hello to those waking up in North America. Yeah, no doubt about it, man. You know, we, again, we got the chat open. If you got any kind of questions, we're more than happy to oblige. Winner on a cold ring misses a three, but somehow they get it back. Finds Mario on the other side, and there's just a lid on the basket right now. And finally, Ben lays it in. He's been the only consistent factor so far. He's got four. Eleven six. You know, we always like to interact with the chat, but um, my Spanish isn't very good. <laughs> I, I do see Jeffrey Eisenband in the chat, our NBA 2K insider. He's watching too. I mean, he's, he's always got the scouting cap on. Yeah, facts. What's up, Jeff? 40 seconds to go in the first. That was my man Jordy's getting a lot yeah, of Yeah, I saw Jordy the from the Mavs saw that. checking it out. Mario to the paint. Can't get the and one, but he'll head to the line for two. Looking to double up his point total. He's got a bucket so far, and now give him three. All things considered, I mean, he, just the way it seemed like this kind of was trending, you would have thought that this would, you could argue, this league would be even bigger than what we're seeing right now. So a kudos to rise above for not letting things get too out of hand. Uh, you know the vibe's not able to capitalize on every opportunity given this year. G-Star in the chat. Mike wants to know, is this a 2K20 Invitational on 2K19? It's a 2K19 league build that yeah. the NBA 2K League used in season two. Certainly won't roll out the new league build until it's time to lace them up there in the new year. 10 seconds to go in the first. Only seven points for Rise Above. As I mentioned before, they beat them 71 to 43, and they get that one to go. Six points now for Ben. If you told me Ben was going to be the guy carrying the load, <laughs> certainly have some concerns, but he's got six, and it's 15 to nine at the end of one. Yeah, that is kind of wild when you kind of look at the fact, you know, Gooder and Sizzle just not even on the board yet. But yeah, as you said, Ben helping keep him alive with that, that healthy six. Yes. Tizzle only got one look at it. Yeah. Uh, and certainly a guy that had 23 points the last time these two teams met earlier in the day. You see go crazy with seven points, two assists. But those three turnovers by Gooner after having a 20-point ball game the last time out with eight assists. He's struggling early. The lob. And, and that's going to be another turnover. Just the third turnover in the ball game. For you know the vibe, they're in the white uniforms. Rides above, hanging out in those blue uniforms. They have not been kind to him. This is a loose ball. They dive on the ground, and it's going to stay with Rise above with 11 on the shot clock. I see some folks in North America starting to wake up and they want to make sure that they don't miss the grand final. And remember, it's double a limb, so for the Park Boys, who are undefeated, they got to lose twice. Yeah, They're yeah. going to have to pretty much sell it. You know, they're going to have to give it away. I love that. I love the double elimination, because it's champion's advantage, right? You get, yeah. you should, and you should be rewarded for going undefeated. Big time jam from Mario uh -oh. coming in. Okay, don't let him heat up. Don't let him get in fuego. He's got five. Oh, Struggled in our first game on stream. As go crazy's off the mark, but there's an offensive rebound. It's Dova able to put it back in and puts his team back up six. That's the first bucket of the game for Dova. I got two points, two rebounds. You know the vibes really impressing me early on in this first half. A lot of people asking for a recap. Double elimination tournament. It's our second day on the first day. They pretty much had what I would call qualifying or placement games yeah, to find out sure. what four teams they were going to build. Then they got to practice with their teams before coming in today. It was Europe Kings that got eliminated first. 
uh, with Loading Mass, Raphael, Lele, Trey, and GC. And now you got an elimination game to find out who's going to play in the final and who's going to go home. Gunner played well in our first match of the day, but he's on a cold ring. He's living on it right now. Yeah, and even in that, you know, that matchup that they had earlier, you know, to heart back on that point, yeah, he didn't have the best scoring game, but what did he give you? He had a lot of assists, too, yeah. right? He was getting fellas involved. This time, uh, zero points and only one assist. Uh, that's got to change at some point. You need more out of your PG, and he's shown Scott that he's capable of producing. It's just not on the, the floor right now. In no way in my mind, no matter how you set the teams up, did I think there was a possibility of not seeing Mario in the final? Sure. But if they keep this up, he's about well, to get eliminated. Mario's not the point guard here. I mean, you, you know. He is on a post score, though. Yes. And we had a foul. Tends to be more effective when you're not trailing. So they're going to get that one on Tanzu. That'll be his second. 4 13 to go here in the first half. That's such a good time. Europe has been so hot, oh. hospitable to us, especially. The great city of London town. Yeah. And we got an eight-point ball game. Talked about the revenge factor. You get blown out, you get embarrassed early on in the bracket, and now they've come back and they got something to prove. And so we're gonna have an AM1 opportunity as they're gonna get that one on Dover. And I think that's a kind of a again something you're gonna see coaches looking for. Like, are you gonna go ahead and dwell on what happened last time? Or are you gonna figure out a way uh, to correct those deficiencies and respond? Up until this point. They've certainly done that, man. They responded in kindness. It's paying off nicely for them. And Phil, we got a lot of people in the chat asking about, oh, wait, are they playing 2K19? <laughs> they are. Yeah, if you're just showing us, they're they playing are. on Season 2's league build of the NBA 2K League. And a lot of that is, first of all, we're not, you know, certainly not ready to roll out Season 3's build yet. Still a lot to decide. But a lot of the scouts, that gives them an opportunity to compare it to what they saw out last yeah. year. I don't think they're comparing these guys to a Radiant or a One Wild Walnut or anything like that. But they know how this game plays the in and out on the league build. And that's why they're playing what our pros played a year ago. And we're going to have a jump ball in the lane. And let's see where possession goes. I can't remember who got the tip. And we're going to jump it off. Let me call it to me college games. <laughs> As Dova oh, up ahead, but Jolo. Too easy, man. And he was going too, like he took off. See Mario. And one of the, the catalysts uh, to will his team back in. Down nine. You see a look at Mario there. He was one of the players I got an opportunity yesterday to sit down and talk about the big day that is today. Back all back again, this time with Mario, a guy that a lot of people thought you should have been drafted years ago, and now you get an opportunity. It's uh, incredible to be here. It's uh, an opportunity uh, and we have to be grateful uh, to have because uh, Europe has a, a great talent, but uh, you need to do events like this to, to showcase this talent. My man Dirk, Dirk the Caster. Thinks you're maybe the best over here in Europe. Um, is that how you feel? Well, thank you for dear, and I think I'm one of the best because if not, I wouldn't be here. Because here we have uh, 20 of the best talent talents in Europe, and I think I have the quality enough to do the, uh, to go to the league. And I think uh, I'm gonna show uh, tomorrow in the stream. How'd the first day go? I know you guys are just doing some scrimmages, setting the teams. Just incredible. I'm a bit tired now, <laughs> but it was incredible, incredible. Like to me, the people you've been playing with, um, playing with them in the stage, uh, in the in the other room, it's incredible, incredible. So amazing. What are some guys that you think should also be drafted from this 20 that we have here today? A lot, a lot of them. We have a, a lot of talent in Europe and Rafa. Dario, uh, Janis, uh, uh, Master, Edu, uh, Mar Marcel, a lot. Uh, we have a lot of talent and uh, a lot of other talent players that couldn't be here because of age, because uh, because he couldn't uh, uh, get here be, uh, for job or something. But we have uh, a lot of talent, and we. Uh, I am glad we we been looked. Now we have a lot of stars in the NBA yeah. 2K League, guys that are certainly, you know, they don't have to be drafted. They're already yeah, drafted, yeah. they're in. 
who's a player in the league that you sort of maybe craft your game after or you're similar to? I, I like Raymo and Hocho, especially, especially them both, and they fry too. They what what about their games do you try to emulate? Uh, uh, Hocho, uh, uh, the 2K18 Hocho in playoffs was incredible. Raymo with the post score last, last season was incredible too. I saw you went to the post score uh, today. Yeah. Put up a lot of points. Yeah. Because uh, I saw them play and I tried to, I try to do the same they doing to to be in the league, because the best talent is in the league. So you gotta learn from the best to, to be there. You've been waiting a long time. How important is tomorrow? The showcase, big stage, yeah. big stream, a chance for to show everybody your talent. I mean, someone asked me before if I was nervous, and I, I don't think so because. You can take like uh, emotion like for for the good uh, for the good or for the bad side, and I think nervous is the bad, uh, nervous is the bad side. So I'm not nervous. I'm good. Look forward to calling your name on draft yeah. day. Good luck, you. Mario. That was Mario. We caught up with him yesterday. Right now he's got 10 points, yes, and uh, right now Jordy's actually out playing him on the other side. 14.6 rebounds for Jordy. So all of a sudden. Uh, Jordy starting to put his name in the conversation. 27 21, 40 seconds before the half. Have another special guest join us here during halftime. And famous enough in the chat, I don't know if he heard a lot of what Mario said, but certainly he heard the name Hotshot. Oh, famous is here. He took a break from Periscope. What's up, dog? <laughs> How you doing, man? Good to see you, brother. He's probably still on Periscope That's true. watching the game. He is a multitask master. I respect that. 27 23 now. Ben now with 11. Point guard is really struggling getting involved. Gunnar still zero points, four turnovers after that huge game that he had last time out. Mario with 10, Ben with 11. And I got I got to be honest with you, Scott. I think it's just a little bit of a disappointment. You know, we get all hyped and excited to see, you know, you know Gunnar's back. You know, this is. The guy of legends around Europe for, for such a long time, dropping those, that clean 20 points last game and just sitting on that goose egg as it stands right now. Uh, just really Ben and Mario kind of keeping the, the bleeding from getting too out of control uh, on the side of Rise Above. Mario in a huge possession. He's going to give it off to Gunnar. Back to Mario. See if he resets it here. Taking Dova down into the post. This is a tough shot. Won't go at the end of the half. No time. And you know the vibe. They got flooded the first time these two teams met, 71 to 43, but they've come back here in the revenge game, the elimination game. And they have put it up, as you can see the stats right there, 30 to 23. Jordy with a huge game. Uh, he's sort of leading the way, go crazy, certainly serviceable with seven points, five assists. Mario with 10, Ben with 11, and Gunnar just can't get it going, Phil. Yeah, I mean, he's gonna, they're gonna need a huge, huge second half uh, to kind of turn things around. So just from the point guard's perspective, as you see, uh, go crazy, as you said. He's, he's holding things down, but Jordy, what a surprise he's been. I see he's been garnering uh, a lot of support there in the chat. Somebody saying one of the most well-rounded players there, and that's straight up facts. Hashtag draft Welsh Jordy. Well, he playing like this guy. Yeah. It'd be hard to deny that. He's making it happen. We're gonna have a special guest at halftime, and then we'll have the final 12 minutes in this one. Someone's going home, and someone's going to the championship to face Aguardo and JLB and the rest of the crew. Don't come back. A lot more to go here in London. In the next couple of weeks, we'll get another one in, and we'll see how that one goes. I'd like to see that. Yeah, let's take a look here at the third quarter as these guys get it going again. You know. Phil has enjoyed some of the food this week and not some of the food. What's what's one of your favorite spots uh, here in England? Uh, Nando's got to be the one. Yeah, it's got to be. No, no. It's got to be. Stop right, it. So they, had that in, in. they had that in the States. Okay, everybody talks up Nando's, how it's just this delicious experience. Yeah. It's all right. Okay, it's, it's all right. You ever been to Chick fil A? That'll change your life. <laughs> Put you on I haven't game. been there, but I'm trying to put you on game. Come to stay sometimes, man. We'll we take care of you. We got a few snacks dropped off at the desk. Oh, no. What can you tell us about these chips, JD? Prawn cocktail? I can tell you that they're absolutely disgusting. That's I would disgusting. not open right, them. So right we're going to make Phil eat that whole bag. <laughs> what? Why am I the guinea pig for all of this? What about this can candy bar, Crunchy? Is that a good one? Yeah, I'll definitely recommend that. All right. All right. That's, that's a good one. So that's, that's the good one snack. I can't have. So that's, that's, that's the one you should have second. Right. Yeah. You need to wash it down with a Crunchy. 34 25. Jordy's been the difference. 
course, you can find JD Crossover. He's hanging out with Phil and I uh, out on YouTube. Big My Teamer. How's the Road to Glory series going? Very good. Yeah. Over, over 100 episodes deep already. Oh, nice. By far the most uh, available Incredible. out on YouTube. So going what, very well. What, what's your favorite guy? Everybody's got a go-to guy. I know it was AK-47 last year. Yeah. That was kind of hot early. Yeah, Baron Davis. Okay. Oh, Baron right. Davis. There's a fantastic version I'm of him out there. I'm a Hornets guy, so I can, I can get okay. down with that. Nice. Yeah, yeah. You, you get along well with him. <laughs> <laughs> 34-27. Shout out to our friends out at Take Two Interactive, 2K. I, I, I load up the My Team just as much as the, the Pro Am in the park. Sometimes I get tired of getting embarrassed in the park. I gotta load. Ooh. I gotta load up a Jordan or two to make things happen. 34-27. Remember, this is an elimination ball game. And we had it. I mean, I don't know if you were here earlier, JD, but. This this team rise above who's in the blue uniforms. They embarrassed Nova yeah. Vibes. I mean, yeah. blew them out yeah. of the arena, and now it looks like they're going to get revenge here if it keeps going this way. And now only two players that have rise above have hit a field goal in this entire game, which is kind of ridiculous at this point. But yeah, I mean, you know, you just straight up need the production. Yeah. I hate to keep harping on this this dumb Gooner. See, yeah. In, in your box right there, but you need some production out of Gunnar. He just mm. has not shown up in this second half. Obviously, an opportunity. The, the thing is about this deficit, guys, is uh, even though he hasn't scored a basket yet, it's not insurmountable for them to still bring this mm. back as it's only a five-point game. Well, JD, crossover, tell us where we can find you out on YouTube. Let's get some of that content. Yeah, it's YouTube, and there's JD Crossover's channel name. Uh, post every day, a couple of times on the weekends, two videos each day on the weekend. Okay. So yeah, very consistent. Well, before we let you go, who do you got winning this one? We got a we got a five point game here and a timeout. I think Rise Above are going to come back into it. Okay. I don't oh. think they can play the same way they did in the first half. I don't know if that's a JD crossover guarantee, but he or certainly thinks <laughs> Rise <laughs> Above is coming back in. I appreciate you joining us. Thank you. JD for crossover, me. check out his content out on YouTube. It's been fun hanging out with him and DBG. I'm wait I'm waiting for the next matchup to happen but it's always good uh, to see that you know for Phil there's so much content happening uh, not only in North America but Europe yeah 2k no has sort of taken over all of a sudden got to keep a watch file on all that stuff and we certainly appreciate you contributing to yeah that. must be thank you for having me no doubt right, bro. JD crossover and we're here in a timeout 34 29 five point game everyone's been way too nice to us Phil yeah I, I'm surprised I haven't gotten roasted yet. <laughs> Wait for well, it. Well, I mean, the chat. The chat certainly will do a good job at roasting it. What, 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 are, what are... What are... I can't even pronounce it, bro. Watsits? I don't even know what that's, that is. That's they they keep trying to give us stuff that... Unless we're paid to eat it, we won't eat it. Filled Mario. Up, filled up was Friday, Mike. <laughs> hey, you guys, you got three filled up episodes. If you don't know, this is Phil from Filled Up. What up, what up? Uh, three episodes coming out. And it's certainly some ones that you don't want to miss. I believe they released the first one yesterday. Yeah, second one with JLB dropped today as well. Okay, the, nice. The Twitter hit up with the retweets and check that guys out. Uh, JLB gets some real good insight, not, not just about himself, but the league in general. And, you know, he talks about how there's a lot of, of players to watch. And I think, you know, all his claims being backed up at this tournament, yeah. that is for sure. I mean, you know, this guy, uh, Welsh Jordy, really garnering, like, a lot of respect, having a heck of a game as well with those 18 points. And six rebounds. A lot of support in the chat. It's been the, yeah. Around. It's been the stories of the centers. We know Jordy's playing well, but how about LeBin with 13.6 rebounds? He was another player I was able to catch up with yesterday. Scott Cole back with you, and I found a guy from London. Anyone in his hometown, Ben, but I call him LeBin. How did day one go? Uh, you know, it's, you don't know how people have done, for example, the games you don't see. I feel it, it was an okay game. Could have gone better, obviously. It's more about getting the practice in today to actually be feeling able to play bad today, you can play good tomorrow. Yeah, That's it's your first time ever yeah, playing on the league build. Yeah. What did you think so, of the league build? Um, I thought it would be harder, to be honest. Uh, you know, the, I don't know what the shooting was like in the league. You know, there was a lot of whites that went in the way it was sort of preferred to us. No whites were going to go in. You had to green to sort of shoot. Uh, you know, it's... I don't know. <laughs> what does it mean to have, you know, this invitation just right in, right in your city, right in your backyard? Obviously, yeah, obviously, we know we've traveled, you know, I don't have to get up at you know, five in the morning, I don't have to catch a flight, I just got a car here, got across the hotel, it was nice and easy. And obviously, to be in the hometown, you know, this is our town, you know, we can perform in here. Obviously, I've been to London before, great, great experience. 20 great players here, how many of those do you think 
uh, we might hear on draft day? I mean, I think you could hear all 20, to be honest. You know, I think everyone here has the potential. That's why they're here. They've shown it. Um, I think more so six or seven. I think there's definitely six or seven premier people here that are probably going to get drafted. In my opinion, they'll definitely make the call. If we built world teams, say we take the best five from North America, we yeah. take the best five from the United Kingdom, and then the best five from Spain. <laughs> you, you are Spain. Who's coming out of Europe? Ooh, right. Spain has a good team because the thing about Spain is they've been playing for a long time together. So, yeah. you know, it goes back to 2K16 for some of them. Um, I would take Spain. I'm, I'm not going to lie. I, I do want to say us, but I'm going to say Spain. Uh, what's the feeling going into tomorrow? Obviously, that's the big show. Mm -hmm. You know, the stream. You got certainly scouts and coaches here, but a majority of the league, not only, you know, mm -hmm. that represent the teams, but certainly a lot of fans are going to be watching yeah. tomorrow. What's your feeling going into the big show? Um, I'm, I mean, I'm definitely pumped, but, you know, there's, there's, the, there's the, the little niggling nerves, you know. It's, I mean, to thing, you know, if you don't perform, that could be your thing. And obviously, if you do perform, that could be, you know, your way into the league, the co coaches take notice. You could end up on one of their rosters. You think it's all about stats, or does winning and losing? I think you need a happy balance. Obviously, if, you know you could come out and you win all games, but if you have two points, you know in the game, it's, it has someone else on your team been the reason you've been winning? Uh, but likewise, you know if you're getting your stats, but you've lost every single game, you know, are you the reason that they're not winning? You know, just because you want to play a certain way? I think you have to find a happy balance, most definitely. Yep. Well, you heard from Lebin there. We were talking to him yesterday. But just a minute left here in the third, so we're going to jump back in it with a 40 to 38 ball game. And Levin's played well, five for five for the man from London, 13 points. And a lot of folks in chat were asking, who are the locks in this game? Because they're doing a great job as a three flies in for Rise Above, able to knock it down. But Pacholo and Tanzu have done such a good job. They're both on the pure locks. Uh, certainly, Pacholo is causing Gooner all kind of problems. Yeah, I mean, and credit to them. I mean, they have. It just kind of stormed back into this matchup. You know, before we even went to that interview, I think we were, they were down seven, somewhere around that, that ballpark, if I'm not mistaken. And actually, with this one point lead now, which is going to go by the way. Yeah, one, really it's still a one point court. lead. Yeah, it's just it the is. other way. It's flipping flopping. 42 <laughs> 41. They can hold it for the final shot here of the third. Remember, this is an elimination ball game. Scott Cole, Phil Visu with you. We've had an absolute blast here in London. First time that we've been here. Uh, to play uh, this Invitational. Mm. And the shot will rim out here at the end of the half. And so we just got one quarter remaining. One of these teams is going to be going home and the other is going to be moving on to the final. And they're going to have to beat the Park Boys twice. That's Aguardo, JLB, and the rest of the crew. They've been sensational. Yeah, Hamzu's played well. Uh, Itor, Guardia, maybe it was the one that sort of uh, Helped them weather the storm in that last game. And the centers have been big. This is a center and point guard lead. Make no bones about it. Mario, a little bit better than the last game we saw him, Phil. He's now got 14 points. Yeah, I mean, you know, finished with 10 uh, throughout the entirety of the game last time. This time, 14 after three. Not bad. Definitely, uh, you know, getting some opportunities, more opportunities at the ball and uh, making the most out of them. Honestly, if they just got even just a little bit more production from Gunnar, they'd have just that, that uh, enough of a put enough of a, a gap between them to maybe win this a little bit more convincingly. But uh, nonetheless, he has been the story for a reason. But maybe just one of those every other game players, right? So if they get past here, they'll have a hell of a game against Park Boys, ideally. Saw a good shot there, Jordy and Mario. And the ball's loose, picked up by Crazy. Able to stop the break. We'll see if they set up the half court set here. Leading by one. This is more points as we get a time out here. This is more points than Know the Vibe scored when they met before, and that's 73-41. Yeah. <laughs> I keep bringing that matchup, mostly because we've only played a few games, but they were dominated here earlier today. It was nasty. It was nasty. But again, you know, we, we pay all respects, uh, to, you know, having that bounce back factor, able to come back and, and kind of right that wrong. And uh, even if this does, does end up being uh, in a losing effort, certainly nothing near as, as, as you know, what a lot of people describe as embarrassing as early on. And you can't even write them out of this one. I mean, they played hard up to this point. They've kept, uh, you know, their point guard in check. Mario, while he's getting his offense, you know, could argue, you know, they've, they've kind of not allowed him to run rough shot on him, uh, all things considered. And then, you know, you look at uh, T. Sizzle, 
you know, the guy who finished with 23 in that game, he's only got seven. You now. keep saying T Sizzle? Yeah. Or Sizzle. Tizzle? Tizzle. Whatever. Tell me about my man Tizzle from London? T-I-S-O. T yeah, Tizzle. I spelled it wrong. T-Sizzle might be my, my rap name from the 80s. No, I'm uh, just trying to save you. I, I, I had just no, trying to save you. I had no response to that. That's I think T-Sizzle is, <laughs> is the water in Parks and Rec that they try to sell the city. Okay. We're getting off the rails here. Let's go crazy. Lives up to his name. Big two-hand jam. And now the lead is up to three. All right. 13 points now for Go Crazy, seven assists. Let's have four turnovers. And this is gonna stay with Rise Above with 15 to shoot. At some point, Mario is gonna have to try to take this game over. Yeah, I mean, you can pretty much, you know, you're, you're in the fourth right now, you can pretty much assume that you need to get it done. And obviously Ben has been helpful, but he hasn't scored in, uh, in a while. As we see a three go down, and I mean, kind of right on cue to what we were saying about Mario needing to take over, delivers that three. It's now two of four from downtown. Ties it up as well. 44 all. It's the first time over these last two days they got their hands on last year's league build in season two. Yep. That's why you see them playing 2K19. And there's a three ball from the corner. That's off the mark. Big offensive rebound, though. The men has kind of come to expect it at this point. Can you believe we got a tie game with 4.40 to go? Elimination game at that. And Ooh. there's the lob. It's an alley, and there's the oop. Man came soaring through. Jordy now with 20 points. Six rebounds, two assists, two steals. Definitely the best story I didn't expect to be able to tell right now, Scott, but. We got been... some scouts on hand. I think yeah. a couple eyebrows getting raised during this elimination game. He's been that dude. He's on a pure glass cleaner, but he's, he's bringing the points up ahead. Stop the break once again, and they got to use one of those timeouts. Just two remaining now, as Rise Above has all four. And I wanted to Ooh. mention, I love the fact that you keep mentioning how this is an elimination game, because, you know, a true uh, test under pressure being displayed right now, and you're really just, you know, the box score tells the story about who's responding, who's able to show up uh, when all the chips are on the line. And for this to only be a two-point game, hell of an effort from both squads. Starting to run out of time and starting to run out of timeouts. Four minutes remaining for one of these teams. While the Park Boys of Aguardo, Itor, Hamzu, JLB, and Guardia are just sitting by saying, hey man, we got, we got even a game in our back pocket. You're gonna have to beat us twice. Right. Uh, to keep us from taking home the championship. Of course, the folks at Champion giving away some cool gear to our champs. And most importantly, the MVP of this Invitational will lock himself in to the draft coming up in season three. That's crazy. That's man. the real prize. Yeah, that's, I mean, you, you ever need some extra motivation, there you go. An MVP award coming with a very impressive gifted. The question, Phil, is that going to factor in in the finals? Is someone going to go straight Kobe ball? Oh. <laughs> you know what I mean? I mean, well, you know what? That's a good test. Yeah. Will that kind of reveal, like, your true character in sure. those kind of moments, or do you still prioritize the team over your own individual success? Because that's huge. I mean, everything gets factored in. Got a lot of smart and talented coaches out here. They're not playing around. You got to know how to play the field. Two-point ball game. Under four minutes to go now. You know the vibes, trying to make it to the final. And this double elimination tournament. As Mario goes down in the paint, thought about the fadeaway, goes up strong and gets it to go. We're tied once again. Mario now at 19 points, four rebounds and two assists. I saw you, Phil, asking, asking about the MVP. Yeah, I'm, I'm asking Chad who you got for MVP thus far. I mean, you can base it off the of last game, this game, pending games, please. I mean, right now, Jordy and uh, uh, Guardo's sort of been the cream of the crop. Right. Mario's certainly coming on strong in this game, but I'm the kind of person that thinks you gotta win the whole thing to be in the MVP discussion. I'm, I'm, I am among that mindset, too. I am among that mindset, too. Uh, it just makes sense, <laughs> you know, just to me, but so you're not trying to discredit anybody. We've seen a wealth of skill on display throughout the day. And again, another game, Scott, coming down to the wire. One that, again, the harp on the point was an absolute blowout. 
earlier in the day. 46 46. Mario trying to get some space. Dova's done a good job on him. And we're going to have the fouls that come over on the double team. And there's a reach in. Both teams with plenty of fouls to give. Gunnar now drops it off to Mario. Mario trying to isolate. Fades away, and it rims Oof. out. That would have been huge. One thing Rise Above has done a nice job is getting back on the break. Good transition defense out of Rise Above. Yes. Tie ball game. It's been back and forth. You know the five got off to a hot start. And Ooh. there's somebody getting the passing lane. That's going to be Mario that jumps out there. He'll take it coast to coast All right. and slam it down. Mario really taking over both on offense and defense. 21 now for Mario. You talk about that mindset. You're back against the wall. What are you going to do? Exactly. And the lob and just a little tap brings us back level. 48 apiece. I'm starting to wonder, Scott, could we be on the verge of maybe seeing our first OT? I'm not counting. It looks like it might be going that way, Phil. Yeah, I'm not counting it out. I mean, you know, about as evenly matched as it gets. Off the mark as Mario has turned into playing some bully ball here. Man. <laughs> Take a one shot. Knocked out of bounds. Gunnar has certainly been in struggle, though. Yeah, he's... Zero points. As you mentioned, only taking one shot. Four turnovers. He's been the most interactive fan this game. I'll say that. He's he had 20 last game. He's been on the court, but only taking one shot. You know, only like a low game for Mario is 10. Yeah. <laughs> you know? And we're kind of scratching our heads like, what's going on with this guy, you know? This is going to be a shooting foul, Phil. Like, get called for the foul on the way up. And so now go crazy with 13 points, nine assists. He's flirting with a double-double. He'll step to the line and make the first one. Neither of these teams want to go away, and he just makes one of two from the line. Oh, man. That's tough when your point guard can't knock them both down. Yeah. You know, at that juncture, you expect that to be automatic. And it's a loose ball. Chase down. And we're going to have a foul that's going to, we got a, we're going to have a technical. Tanzu picks up his sixth foul. Oh, wow. Yep. And you can't foul out. There's, there's nobody waiting in the wings. You don't want me to go in there and play for you. <laughs> and so it will be a technical foul. They're going to have you know, step to the line, knock these down, and then have a chance to I believe it might have been a shooting foul, so he might be shooting a plethora oh, of free throws here. If that's the case. And so that gives him a three-point lead, not able to knock them all down. So it stays one possession. 65 seconds to go. And we're going to have a jump ball. Right well, force that great tie-up. And Gooner, the little man, is going to have to jump it off. And they will get possession. Ben's got it. Under a minute to go now. They're trailing by three. Gunnar only taking two shots. What a find. And it's knocked away. Huge defensive stop. And now they're going to use a little time here, Phil. Yeah, this is where you should start running this clock and milking. You know, try and force uh, a mistake on the defensive end and just capitalize. One clean shot, this could be the one. And they're going to have an opportunity. Let's see if they call timeout. They do have one. See if they draw up a play. Three or quick two, what are you thinking? You got to go for the three. Mario to tie it. No. It won't fall. And they got a foul. Jordy, he'll head to the line. Mario tried to be the hero. I mean, somebody had to, though. Sure. So, I mean, somebody to had to, you know? I thought they should have gone timeout. I don't blame Mario for putting that up. I, I, somebody I, else was. I'd like to go a timeout and a quick two there to Mario. Said he tries to tie it up with a three, and it's off the mark. And it looks like Mario, certainly the most hyped and touted yeah. of the 20 that were invited here. Uh, we're not going to see him in the final. 
And I think JLB's probably wiping his brow going, good. <laughs> Even though JLB told me yesterday he had drafted Mario over himself. That's an That's honest kind of how JLB is. And no, you know the vibe. Let's come back. Wow. In a previous matchup, they got beat by 32. Yep. And they come back uh, able to regain. It was actually a 29 point loss. And they come out with a win here, eliminating. Mario and the rest of the Rise Above crew of Gunnar, Tanzu, Tizzle, and Ben, they are out of here. And so that's going to set up a final between You Know the Vibes and the Park Boys. Go Crazy and Aguardo are going to face off with a battle maybe between JLB and Jordy, who's come on, Phil. Yeah, Jordy, has he was definitely the story of that match. You know, obviously, kudos, respect to Mario, definitely put up performance. But Jordy, from start to finish, I mean, he kept his team engaged. He put up points, and he really helped uh, put enough of a difference there uh, to get that W. So big ups to him. Just a totally different vibe and mood in here yeah. than it was yesterday. No, but I don't think anybody. I mean, I didn't expect this. I'll be, I'll be quite honest with you. And I'm just, I'm, I'm, I'm going off that earlier game, and I'm thinking to myself, it'll be a closer contest. But I did think Rise was going to be, I had to be your favorites, had to come out on top. But no, uh, you know the vibes respond in the right way. Big respect to them. Just take a look at that box score. Yeah, when it comes down to it, go crazy goes off for 17. Gunner puts up a goose egg. Around here, they would say that's nil. Four turnovers, only three assists, and certainly that was the difference. You put the man from Wells, Jordy, double-double, 21 points, 10 rebounds, and all of a sudden, he's putting his name in the hat for the MVP. Those those four turnovers from Gunnar, if those are four points instead, that, that's a different point. It's anybody's game still at that point, but as you said, Jordy, uh, he had no problem showing up when the money was on the line. Well, just around the bend, it's the grand final. Remember, it's double elimination. Park boys will have to lose twice. Hey. But you know the vibes. We're going to have an opportunity to maybe come up with a big upset. Don't go anywhere. We'll be right back.